guys, in this episode, we will be hosting a two-part lesson of managing habitats. This is going to be part one, and as we showed you in this clip before, as Genesis minting is over for both Genopets and land, the only way to acquire land now is through the marketplace. Once you have a land, you can terraform your own assets. So we're going to cover maintenance and decay. Without player intervention, all habitats decay over time, starting from the moment the habitat is activated. When a habitat fully decays, it enters into a state called dormancy, rendering it useless and unable to perform. As such, a habitat's lifespan is measured in days remaining until dormancy. The starting lifespan of a starting level 1 habitat is 90 days. Lifespan will tick down on a daily basis, assuming no player intervention. When lifespan reaches zero, the habitat will become dormant and unstable unless restored. Level 1 habitats start with a durability value of 90, meaning a player can repair their habitat up to 90 times. Durability can be increased by upgrading the habitat's level. Each upgrade adds another 90 durability, hereby allowing the player to repair the habitat an additional 90 times. The important thing to remember here is, you'll be converting your steps to energy, your energy to Kai, your Kai to refined crystals, and then your refined crystals into restoring your habitat's lifespan. So a crucial thing to bear in mind is, you will need to have a high step count and a decent step efficiency with your Genepet in order to be able to bank enough steps to get the Kai needed to refine your crystals and keep your habitat active. The level, revival cost, and durability regained can be seen on the screen here. Habitats have three levels and can be upgraded to increase the utility. By leveling up, habitats are able to spawn more unrefined crystals, increase their crafting capacity and harvest more Kai per day. Upgrading one's habitat comes with costs and so must be treated as a strategic decision for the player. And we would fully recommend guys going onto the white paper and having a good read about these effects for yourself. So we're just going to walk you through how to purchase a Genepet or a piece of land. You go onto magicedenio slash creators slash Genepets and ensure that your Solana wallet, in our case Soulflare, has some Solana in it. Select which item tab you are looking for and start viewing all of the different items on display. In regards to land, we've mentioned before, Genesis land is much more beneficial from a fine crystal perspective and an energy perspective. It doesn't actually matter which element you want to buy. That is merely on preference. What does matter is the level of the land and whether it's a Genesis land or not. The prices on the marketplace will reflect these differences in levels and whether it's a Genesis or not. Okay guys, we should now be in a position where we have a Genepet that is a free to play Genepet and we have some land and it's Genesis land allowing us to have all the benefits that, that brings with it. In the next lesson, we're going to teach you how to upgrade your habitats, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.